Evet. Uh, so I'm Ilyas Verev. Going to talk about some fun stuff. And uh, uh, well, OpenStreetMap. Uh, I'll start, I guess, with the usual question: Who here knows about the OpenStreetMap? Awesome. <laughs> uh, now, who here does not like the OpenStreetMap? <laughs> oh, that's great. You're a terrible person. I will. <laughs> We would need to talk. But then uh, OpenStreetMap uh, well, gives plenty of reasons not to like itself. Uh, and uh, it's a great project. It's uh, open, under license, much like GPL, which must uh, make Richard Stallman happy. Uh, it was made by a programmer who didn't know anything about geography. Uh, it has great data model which leaves um, a room for some creativity. And uh, when I explain OpenStreetMap, I usually, uh, after that, mention that uh, the moment you click the Save button, all your changes uh, are immediately uploaded to the server. And in a couple of minutes, everyone can see them. That's awesome. There is no moderation. You can just map and in real time see your changes in the map. And uh, uh, interestingly, uh, basically the first question everyone asks, uh, not about uh, how to do something with OpenStreetMap, but uh, you know, what if I would like to draw something like this in OpenStreetMap? Or something like this? <laughs> or move some roads around? What, what is it with people wanting so much to break things? Or like this, uh, <laughs> or maybe delete some stuff. Yeah, will it break the OpenStreetMap? Well, for a bit, but uh, there is a community that uh, all the time watches edits. There are some uh, very useful tools uh, that, uh, like who did it, uh, in which you can subscribe to the area you live in, like uh, Chinchet Analyzer which highlights uh, edits that uh, are suspicious. And we have tools to deal with that. So it's not a, a long time solution to break an open street map because uh, in a couple of days, or if you're lucky in a couple of years, uh, all your vandalism will be reverted and uh, the map will still be great. Uh, so we could look for another solution. Uh, because, you know, OpenStreetMap is uh, open. It's uh, based completely on open source software stack. So maybe we could just sit and wait <laughs> for it to break by itself. Uh, not open source, you know. Uh, will it work? Well, it did once. <laughs> uh, there was a time when some uh, identifiers surpassed their four byte uh, unsigned int uh, limit and some core software bro uh, broke, but in a couple of days uh, the community has fixed it and uh, the project still works. So you might think that uh, OpenStreetMap uh, lasts and nothing can break it, but actually uh, we found the solution. <laughs> it's not the thing we're proud of. Uh, and the key to breaking uh, the project is uh, 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 basically, you, you don't. Uh, you need to not want to break it. You need to wish it well and to work every day on improving it. And then, uh, one moment, you, you'll find that uh, the common saying is that uh, uh, you heard the thing most uh, that you love <laughs> uh, applies well to the open projects. Uh, a bit about me, I work at uh, Maps.me. This is uh, an app for Android I iOS. Uh, it, and it's uh, basically a viewer for OpenStreetMap. It started a long time ago, uh, just out of a need to have some offline maps on travels uh, without uh, requirements for internet. It's uh, completely offline. And uh, from that, it started to grow. Nowadays, it's got better UI and uh, 3D buildings, as you see, and some useful stuff on uh, uh, 
amenity cards, routing, sharing, whatever, a lot of stuff. Uh, it's uh, an app store on Google Play. You can, you should download it. And uh, a, a lot of people over the time uh, have liked it and installed. So right now we have 11 million users who use uh, the application monthly. Uh, to give a scale, that's exactly the population of Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in the time where is no force them around. But, yeah, so we thought that uh, we really like OpenStreetMap. It has allowed us to make this great application and uh, to get some money. Uh, so we want to contribute something back. But uh, we're only a team of 20, so m directly mapping won't uh, give much value to OpenStreetMap. So we decided to share the thing we had the most, these 11 million users. So we implemented a simple editor uh, in the application. Uh, it's uh, uh, really easy, just click a point and uh, there are some, uh, uh, a simple form and stuff like that. No text, no geometry, just sends data op to OpenStreetMap. Uh, Is it an anonymous uh, No, you have uh, to log into OpenStreetMap through the application. Yeah, uh, and uh, it worked, not uh, as well as we hoped, uh, not millions of users, but still uh, many thousands. Uh, it immediately increased uh, uh, new contributors user base, as you can see on a lot of graphs, and uh, we consider it a success. I've built a tool to monitor the edits, and as you can see, recently we surpassed one million edits with our application. It's uh, around 100,000 of users. And uh, the thing I'm proud of the most is that it's not a regular uh, people from uh, regular countries that you can see on OpenStreetMap, like Western Europe and the US. Uh, you can see Iraq, uh, Philippines in the top 10 and so on. So it, uh, uh, there are people from all over the world uh, improving OpenStreetMap through the editor. And from the OpenStreetMap site, it is really, really simple. You can do basically that two things uh, with MapsMe. It's either create new points or change attributes. And that's all. It, and this is uploaded directly to OpenStreetMap without any proxies and stuff. So what could uh, go wrong, basically? It's very simple. <laughs> you, can, you, cannot do, you cannot break any relations with it and stuff. So, uh, but so some people have started to notice some weird, weird things. Like, quite a lot of people, very, very many people, have started to mark their homes, homes on the map. It's, it's weird. Uh, you know, there are a couple of security tracks going on right now, somewhere around here. So how to protect uh, uh, private information stuff, but uh, a lot of people don't care. They just ask, this is my home. This is home of, homes of all my friends, and th there are uh, roads which I take to get to them. It's uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> then there were some Chinese tourists. Uh, they're, they're okay, but uh, they started re renaming uh, all the attractions, uh, adding a name in Chinese or in Russian or in Korean, uh, which also looked weird and uh, mappers uh, didn't like it. And there's basically a, a lot of stuff that you can't explain. Mostly it looks like people just mapping for themselves, like adding these uh, caravan sites and mobile phone shops, which are obviously not <laughs> the look. <laughs> yeah, and, and of course, uh, mappers from OpenStreetMap came to us and said, uh, you are breaking the OpenStreetMap, please fix it. And we started to think, how do we <laughs> do that? Okay, another month of work, we finally, uh, we think, fixed it. So we put a big uh, panel with warning that everything you map, you are sending to the global database and billions of people will see that. So please don't add your homes. And uh, we're fab forbidden to edit default names that show on maps, so users can't add Chinese names to it. And added some monitoring and validation just to be sure. Okay, so this uh, should have worked, but uh, not as great as we hoped. 
First, since we forbid uh, forbidden editing default names, uh, there are multi-language names which started to differ from default names. As you can see here and here, it is just uh, in one hour. Uh, so it was a little frustrating. And people were still adding their homes. <laughs> But, but now we could say that that is not our fault. Every user has seen that warning, so contact these users, it's not our problem. And then uh, the, the code of dealing with OpenStreetMap, of converting our field, uh, types or field values to OpenStreetMap has grown big and uh, some of our mistakes start, started seeping on the map. Like uh, some of our internal tags uh, were added to OpenStreetMap. Not much, like 100 tags on the whole world, but uh, uh, some mappers uh, made a big deal out of it with uh, posts in a lot of diaries, with uh, discussions on forum how MapsMe is destroying their map with those tags that can be easily cleaned up and stuff. Yeah. Uh, then uh, we found out that uh, we uh, broke in some addresses in some parts uh, by translating the street names. Uh, it, it is really a big deal and we're working on fixing that. Well, we fixed it in the application, but uh, there are some left. Uh, but uh, nobody in OpenStreetMap, virtually nobody has noticed it, and which I think proves that uh, mappers uh, are not concerned with data quality and mostly with MapsMe, but still. Uh, and the licensing issue, we see a lot of, well, some people that are adding thousands of addresses onto the map using our application, but uh, we're not sure they're using proper sources, or open uh, license sources. But uh, we can check it, <laughs> not sure we can, <laughs> what we can do with it. Right, uh, so to go a bit back, first, uh, this is really a great application. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, it allows uh, you to add a lot of uh, places to update uh, open hours and stuff uh, if you like to improve the map uh, and a lot of people are using it. Uh, so when uh, we added the editor, I finally mapped a shop near my home, which, has, which I was too lazy to map for previous two years. Stuff and. Uh, OpenStreetMap uh, is uh, not only great, it's uh, in most cases the only choice you have when you need, uh, when you need, need a map. And uh, of course we love it very much and uh, I myself be on, being on the board uh, adore it very much. But uh, underneath all the, uh, uh, all the success stories, all the great data, uh, the data model of uh, OpenStreetMap is uh, not as good as it could be. So if you uh, try to do the simple editor for people who don't care for OpenStreetMap, who uh, uh, an, an editor not for 10,000 of uh, people who know uh, how to choose tags from uh, 10,000 different tags uh, they use. Uh, you know that uh, t tagging wiki pages are like 50 screens long and it's impossible to select. So we wanted just to make an editor for millions of people, uh, just to make it easier. And uh, when you try to uh, marry, marry that with uh, the OpenStreetMap data model, uh, uh, most of the times you feel like this. <laughs> and, uh, there, there is always something for, uh, that you need to fix. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but we're still working on that. We're improving validation and uh, other companies are looking for quality of data. So uh, yeah, that, uh, uh, that are uh, not big problems, just things we're working, working on. And uh, the last thing, uh, from the start, uh, OpenStreetMap project, like any open project out there, wanted to have more editors. Uh, it was uh, its goal since day one, I guess. And uh, the, in the last year, uh, the number of its daily contributors has doubled from three to 6,000 uh, editors daily. And it's great. And uh, MapsMe, uh, has contributed to it a lot and uh, Pokemon has <laughs> contributed to it, uh, but that's another funny story. Uh, and uh, somehow the mappers are not happy 
they've got uh, thousands new contributors, but well, not as great as they hoped. So I guess uh, the lesson is uh, be careful with what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thanks. Right, I guess we have a lot of time for questions. Um, do you think OpenStreetMap could survive a financially backed coordinated attack? Like if a distributed botnet attack was somehow financed, would it survive it? Well, first, our. our ah, yeah. Uh, uh, do I think that OpenStreetMap would survive a coordinated big attack on it? And first, uh, the API is slow enough that you can't uh, add a lot of data in the short time. <laughs> and uh, if you do, there are always backups from the previous day, from the previous hour. Uh, and uh, if it's really bad and the map is broken, then you can just revert it. Uh, all the history is uh, stored, so it's not a big deal. And, uh, well, our sysadmins are pretty active and they tend to notice this stuff early on. Yeah, I have a question. Um, I, I, I've been using Maps.me uh, uh, on Android, but I wonder why there isn't uh, a brand new version on F-Droid. Right, uh, about uh, Maps.me on F-Droid, uh, that's not for us. We, we don't uh, uh, plan to support an F-Droid version, but uh, all the code is open. It's on GitHub, so anyone can build an Android version. And the main a uh, barrier for publishing it on F-Droid was uh, that nobody could find a server to host uh, their own version of Maps. So I I if you have a server with at least 40 gigabytes of uh, disk drive, you can go to F-Droid uh, ticket in a Maps.me issue tracker and uh, offer your help. And that way we can have an F-Droid version. Right, I can answer questions for OpenStreetMap, for Maps, me, whatever. <laughs> yeah? I just want to ask, after your initial report, you said that you uh, Right, a question about uh, Maps, me slowing down in the in past months, I guess. Uh, well, uh, obviously, when you improve an application, it gets slower with time. <laughs> but uh, first, uh, of course, it's all for reason. Uh, because, uh, uh, for example, just uh, a month ago, we added uh, real-time traffic information. And to render it uh, is to get some processor time from other things. So it gets uh, more slow and stuff. So. Yeah, it gets slower, but we have really great uh, uh, graphics team, graphic engine team. So they're working on improving things a bit. So yeah, it, it will be. <laughs> Just uh, you have to wait. Yeah. Is Map.me a company? Yes, uh, it is a company that that was bought by a Russian company, Mail.ru. Uh, uh, it has around, around 20 people, uh, of them around 13 are programmers, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's not a separate company, it's subdivision, but uh, we're pre pretty independent. Yeah. Uh, uh, the business model of Maps.me currently uh, uh, the reason to one that's sustainable, <laughs> uh, we still uh, spend more money than we earn, earn. but uh, last year we started to uh, make partnership with our other companies. Like you can book hotels from Maps.me uh, via booking.com uh, and you can uh, call an Uber and uh, some other stuff. So uh, we have these partnerships and we have some plans to make it sustainable. But. Uh, uh, it's uh, absolutely uh, not uh, in, in expense of uh, the core functions. It uh, will always function offline. It will not send some uh, private information to servers. So the core functions uh, and security stay the same. Uh, 